Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's another day. Today is Monday, October 28th, 2024. It's a new day. I just left. I just um, dropped all my my seed, of course. And, um, of course, they had, you know, right down the street from where I'm at, they had, you know, a whole shenanigan parade going on the same old you know you know they they got some type of uh i'm i'm even thinking that this so the so-called protesting thing that they got going on is a psyops but anyway they had like again three or four cops just there you know just waiting for my arrival and then and then they, and, and like i said they they literally let you know because as soon as i pulled up and drove they drove all right with me. They they and they do it on purpose. They they literally want to let me know, okay, we're just here for you. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're here. We're just here for you and nobody else. I just um I just left the basketball court. I'm I'm gonna keep it real, man. You know, like I don't know what it is, man. Um it's getting cold, but this is this is October. You know, I remember back when I was a, a, a child. You know, I, you know, being in the cold was nothing. We, we, st- we ate, I ate the cold, you know what I'm saying? Born and raised in, in, from the East Coast, you know what I mean? You know, we was in the snow all the time growing up as, as, as a child, as a teenager, you know, in my adolescent years, you know what I'm saying? You know, snowball fights, you name it. We played in the cold all day. You couldn't, you couldn't, um. You couldn't get us to stay in the house. The only time we really came in the house is when there was nobody else outside to play with. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, man, we stayed outside. And in, in, in not just in the cold, but also the heat as well. But what I'm saying is now since um since we're leaving, we done left. Summer's over officially. And now we're in autumn, fall. And now it's like, you know, and this ain't this ain't the first time I just noticed this. I noticed this years years ago. You know what I'm saying? I noticed that um I really don't even I don't I don't know, man. I, I like the cool weather, but it's like now it's like I don't know, I guess my body don't like it. I don't know what it is, man, but I was just playing some shooting, you know, just did some shooting at the at the B ball court and I just um left early because my hands got so cold, man. I mean and I ain't have no gloves to put on. The only thing that was cold on me was my hands. You know what I mean? Just, you know, just cold. And and it's like, it's probably like, I don't know, maybe 50 right now. But that's still nothing compared to how it used to be. Like, it's really not cold outside. It's just chilly. It's just chilly. But if you stay out here long enough, you know what I'm saying, you would then, you know, Feel, plus, it's early in the morning. You know, what I'm saying the sun is just now waking up. You know what I mean? But still, it don't. It, it years ago, I'm trying to tell you to eat the cold for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know what I mean? We used to be outside, man, in snowy, ten degrees weather. You know what I'm saying? I we used to shovel snow. You know what I'm saying? I remember those days. You know what I'm saying? We used to shovel snow for a couple of dollars. You know what I mean? You know, never really, really made that much money doing it, but we used to we used to try to do it. You know, growing up as a as a as a young buck, you know, what I'm saying thirteen, fourteen. You know what I mean? But I really, I, I realized that things do change when you get older, man. Things really do change. If I was to ever, you know, you know, get super paid to the point where I can move around, I, if I stayed in America, I'm definitely going down south. I would probably either go to Texas or maybe um, California or because I, I love California weather and I know Texas stays. Um, I got to stay. I stop saying, uh, you know, what I'm saying it's a habit. Everybody does it. But Texas stays warm all year round. They don't have no winters, you know, and it's not winter right now. It's fall. You know, this is this is. um I love fall. I love autumn. I love when the trees, when the when the tree, when the trees change colors, and and become orange and fall and stuff like that. You know, I, you know, I I love that stuff. You know what I mean? But I, it's like now, I'm, I don't know, man. It's just like your body just can't 
just, you know, maybe I just, I think maybe I just need to get some gloves, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but still, if I was, but then, but at the same time, it don't make no sense because at the same time, we were just in summer, summer, summer just passed, and I had my AC on all summer, trying to get cold, trying to be cold. I, I just, it just don't make sense. Winter time come, you want the heat on. Summer time come, you want the, you want the cold. You know what I mean? It's like we can't make up our minds down this joint. Like, how come the weather just can't be perfect to the point where you don't need none of that? You don't need, you don't need, um, you don't need no air conditioner. You don't need no heat. The weather should just be perfect. I know when I went to San Francisco, you didn't need no air conditioner out there. You know what I mean? When I stayed at the mo when I stayed at the, the hotel motel, they didn't even have no AC, right? You didn't need one. And this was summertime. I went to I went to uh California in like July or something. And I was balled up in my room in the in the in the bed at night. You know what I mean? It was cold. In July in San Fran. You know what I mean? And it, and it, and it feel like that's how it feel right now. How it feel out here right now, it feel like San Fran at night. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how it feel out here in PA in the AM. And also, you know, I seen, I had wrote, I have, I have wrote, uh, you know, I had, I found a piece of chalk out there um, a couple of days ago. So, you know me, I'm going to put my initials all over the place. Yeah, gang stock assimilation, subscribe. You know, I wrote it on the basketball court. And, of course, they sent the bots there to talk mad crap. I was going to, I was going to show it, but I ain't want to. Um, it was a whole bunch of badass words, you know what I'm saying? So, I ain't want to repeat it. I mean, so what I did was I just, I, I just wrote. I, I just wrote and just messed up all their letters and. You know, all the stuff that they said, I made it look like they said something else. You know what I'm saying? You know, I just <laughs> I just messed up the messed up everything that was on that was on the pavement. And some of y'all would say, well, D, why they doing that? D, why they hating on you, man? Well, mind control is a real thing, young fella. And see, the thing is, right. When I looked out there at the, at the b-ball court. Guess what they had out there all over the ground? Now, my drum in the hood. I'm not in the suburbs. I'm not in the. I'm not in the white neighborhood. Nothing like that. I'm in the. I'm in the hood. I'm in the ghetto, right? So, guess what they had all on the ground? Hennessy bottles, two eleven, two eleven cans. It was everywhere, dog. It was two eleven. Comment down below if y'all know what two eleven is. I don't know if y'all know. Um, but two eleven is some cheap ass malt liquor. It's like a malt liquor cool cooler beverage. I never had it. Never, never drunk none. Even when I used to drink, I don't drink no more. But um, even when I used to drink, I never drunk two eleven. I don't. Um, back in the back in the day in the nineties, I, I I tasted Saint Eyes and O E, but I wasn't a fan. And then I definitely became. I definitely wasn't a fan when I found out that 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 stuff is engineered for black folk. Because when Saint Eyes came out and Old English was out in the hood. Man, the crime rate skyrocketed. You know what I'm saying? And this is a fact, okay? This ain't no speculation. So malt liquor, you know, malt liquor, all that stuff is straight poison. And not only that, not only is it poison, but I was also told, not, not sure if it's true or not, but I was also told, I think, I'm not sure, I'm, who, who said it? If I'm not mistaken, I'm not even going to say the person's name that said it. But I learned a long time ago that they say that when they make the malt liquor to put in the hood, they urinate in the malt liquor. So you're really you're actually drinking urine. You know what I'm saying? Mixed with mixed in with a whole bunch of other chemicals and stuff. Is it human urine? I don't know. It could be dog. It could be cat. It could be whatever. It could be a cow urine. I don't know. But they they cut it. They cut it with urine. That's right. So if anybody, if, if anybody that's listening right now to my channel, if you're drinking malt liquor, I advise you, you can do what you want, but I advise you to stop. <laughs> I advise you to stop 
clean your behind out, repent, <laughs> change your ways, don't ever go back, you know what I'm saying? There's plenty of other things to drink now if you want to drink. If you want to get your drink on, you got other things, you got healthier things that you can, you got better alternatives now. You ain't got to get that cheap crap. Don't be buying liquor from the from the ghetto liquor stores anyway. Go out into the white people neighborhood. Because if you go out to the white people neighborhood in the suburbs and stuff and go to their wine and spirits or their liquor stores or whatever, their, their little deli coolers, you're going to see a different variety. You know what I'm saying? You'll see a different variety because they don't even have, they don't carry the malt liquors out there in those suburbs, the suburban areas anyway. Those malt liquors are specifically designed for the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Specifically, so so this is a fact. So I got this squirrel looking at me. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean, so yeah, I just wanted to let 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 y'all know. You know, what I'm saying you know this is what's going on in DB's world early in the morning. No, the gang stalking hasn't stopped. Um, no, no, the bots. Um, they they was I was in the crib for the whole weekend, and and they was they was working overtime, working. I didn't even go outside, yo. I didn't go outside at all. You know what I'm saying? For the for Saturday and Sunday. But there was gang stalking. But like, well, how you know, D? How you know there was gang stalking? I told you, player. I don't just get street theater. I get electronic harassments. Okay? Street theater is one aspect of the program. Electronic harassment is a whole nother ball game. It's a whole nother atmosphere. It's a whole nother world. So, yeah. So with that being said, y'all, y'all keep your heads up. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, man. Don't be a hater. You know what I'm saying? It was funny, though. I, I find that funny how I just wrote all over what they wrote. So tomorrow, I'm going to see what they're going to rewrite down there again. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you know, it's funny, though, man. I tell you, you got to, you know, hell with the bots, man. Some people say pray for the bots. Hey, why pray for them? Why, why? God didn't pray for them. If you read the Old Testament, right, God was destroying countries and nations. When, 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 um, when the nation wasn't acting right, not only did God kill the parents, but God took out the seeds as well. That's right. If you go ahead and, and Solomon and Gomorrah, you know what I'm saying? When, um, when, when Abraham was, Abraham was saying, um, God, if I find, you know, 10 people, would you spare the land? You know, he couldn't find 10 people. You see what I'm saying? So God just knocked out everybody. He didn't care about no infants, no, no newborn babies, no toddlers, no adolescents, no teenagers. In fact, if you read the Bible, um, remember when God sick the she bears? When, 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 when those kids, they said the kids was teasing, um, who was it, Elijah or somebody? Um, and it was like, go up the bald head, go up the bald head. And God, God, they said, God sick the she bears. God sick the she bears to attack, to attack the children. That's right. So when it comes to God, God, I don't have no mercy for these kids. You know what I'm saying? Because you know why? Because the fruit don't fall too far from the tree. So nine times out of 10, if the parents is corrupt, then you already know the children's gonna be corrupt. It's just a given fact. It's very seldom, like myself, I got, you know, a lot of siblings in my family, but I'm the only chosen, I'm the woke one. I'm the Christ, I'm the, I'm the Messiah, I'm the, I'm the, uh, the God in the family, you know what I'm saying? I'm the monkey, I'm the, I'm the, uh, I'm the wrench, the monkey wrench in the matrix machine. I jammed up the machine. I remember Bobby Hemmings said a long time ago, he said, some of y'all might wonder why you, you were born into a family that y'all don't see eye to eye. He said, because you had to get down here at this particular time. So basically you needed a body. You, you needed a body. It's like, basically, let's just say, let's just say if you was, you know, stranded somewhere or whatever, you're trying to get to work or whatever, and you just hitched a ride. <laughs> I'm just using that as an example. It just popped up. You just, I just need a ride. I don't know this nigga in the car. I don't know this girl in the car. I just need a ride to get to my destination. Can you give me a ride? I'm hitchhiking right now. I need a ride to get to such and such. So that's, that's, that's how you got to look at your family. 
Your family was just a ride. Yeah, your brothers and sisters, they all bots and NPCs, right? They gang stalking you, right? Your parents, your mom, dad, cousins, nieces, nephews, they all bots, right? You don't get along with them, right? Okay, you just needed a ride. You just needed a ride to get down here. Because it was meant for you to be down here at this particular time to do what you need to do before you leave out this joint. We all down here for a mission. It, it may not, you know, even the bots, even the gang stalkers are down here for a mission. Their mission is to be a gang stalker. That's their mission. That's their mission. That's their that's their role. Their role. Look, look, even when you watch movies, you got main characters in the movies and then you got the extras. I used to always try to, back when I was chasing the acting career, I was always trying to get these roles to be an extra in the background. They was paying like $300 for a couple of hours and stuff. I was trying to get these roles, but I never, I didn't get them because they were so inconvenient. They would, they would be far. They would be, you know, a role might pop up and it's in New York, it's in, it's in um, Atlanta or somewhere, you know what I'm saying? And you're not there. And you had to, that's one thing about, you know, shout out to the people that chase their dreams of being an actor because <clears throat> you know, it's not easy. With that being said, the video is getting too long. Holler back. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We out.